The Renault 5 E-Tech is the iconic Renault 5 reincarnated. But unlike a number of other iconic names that have been brought back recently, this one doesn't stray away from its roots. It offers a blend of the latest EV tech and the classic styling of the past. The new Renault 5 E-Tech is an affordable, city-friendly car that will try and speed up the EV adoption in the European market. The pop yellow hero color with the starry black rooftop makes for a gorgeous look, while the quirky design traits on the outside and on the inside bring out fond memories. We got to try the highest available trim, the iconic 5, which includes heated denim seats, heated steering wheel, specially designed alloy wheels, Google-based infotainment system, Udosh features including adaptive cruise control and auto parking and preconditioning feature for the battery when you set up a waypoint on Google Maps. If the size and its heritage didn't scream, affordable city car, we don't know what else will. Starting at just under €25,000 before any incentives, the Renault 5 E-Tech is an accessible solution for Europe's densely populated cities. People who feel nostalgic enough of the good old times of the original Renault 5 should certainly give the new all-electric version a consideration. But beyond that the Renault 5 E-Tech packs a nice set of features that will be appreciated by young, tech-savvy drivers. Not to mention the integrated infotainment system with Google's apps. The design is truly inspired. The elements from the crowd favorite from yesteryear blend amazingly well with the modern high-tech pieces. While the budget didn't allow for the finest Napa leather or exotic wood trims all the elements are finished creatively and the build quality is higher than you'd expect in a budget car. The value for money is certainly there as well. The entry-level 5 trim goes for €25,000, while the top-tier iconic 5 is asking €32,900. Not many vehicles in this class boast full Udosh packages with parking assist, active driver assist and intelligent adaptive cruise control. The vehicle also supports V2L and V2G technologies so you can use the car's battery to power up 220 volts compatible devices or even your home. The 8's acceleration time from 0 to 100 km per hour is also pretty solid for that class. No matter how you spin it, it's a tiny car. The passengers at the back will feel cramped, unless they are kids and while the trunk space is okay the absence of a frunk isn't ideal. The 52 kWh maximum battery capacity also means that it's not the best vehicle for taking outside the city, in case the size didn't make it clear. The vehicle comes in three variants 95 horsepower, 120 horsepower and 150 horsepower. The first two variants are yet to go on sale, they will have a smaller 40 kWh battery with just 300 km as per WLTP. The 150 horsepower option with the 52 kWh battery is the only one available right now and it gets you to 400 km. It's also the only one you should really consider, the price difference isn't big enough to justify the reduction of what is already not a huge battery. It's a similar story on the equipment side. The highest iconic 5 trim is just €2,000 over the base one, but brings a lot. An M2 cable for home charging, battery preconditioning feature, V2L connector, full Udosh package with auto parking and a two-tone color option of your choosing are well worth the cost. In short, if you are considering the Renault 5 E-Tech, we'd suggest go all in.